Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, episode four. I don't even really know what to predict. I feel like there's been a time jump every single time. Uh, what I will predict, though, is that Renera is either going to be married or she is either going to find someone to marry this episode. Um, Damon probably going to come back to King's Landing, I think. And yeah, that's really all I can predict because I feel like these time jumps make everything kind of like hard to predict. But those are my two predictions. There we go. Let's get into this. Hey everybody, before we get into this video, I just wanted to tell everyone about my Patreon going on right now, and I also want to give a huge shout out to Gloria Brown for being the first member of the Big Wall tier. Thank you so much, and I appreciate your support, but go check out the Patreon. You get early access to all the videos that I upload. You don't want to miss out. Check it out. The view across the marches is inspiring. So said she Peter does not herself. care. She my father and I. And tell me, Lord Dundarian, did you think my great-grandmother is beautiful as they say? This was half a century ago, princess. Yes, it was. <laughs> He's a bit old. Get out of here, brother. My princess, ours is a bond that has long endured. Since Lucas Blackwood, the grandsire of my grandsire, aided the dragon in his war of conquest. I. The Blackwoods truly turned the tide on that one. <laughs> if chosen as your match, Princess, your day shall be easy and night safe. All right, fair protection. enough, man. Hey, he's doing protection. his best. I like it. The Princess has a dragon, you dumb cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't let him disrespect you like that, little I man. I like that one. Uh, don't let him disrespect let you. Next. So we may go to supper. I would happily row myself back to King's Landing if I brought an end to this ridiculous pageant. Ooh. Oh, who died? Who died? Who died? Ooh, wee! Look at him! Yo, don't disrespect that little boy. Oh, he's looking like the Conqueror again when Damon comes in. Yo, I still can't get over how glorious that throne looks. When I go back to Game of Thrones, it's going to look a little sad. <laughs> oh, no. He's wearing a crown. Oh, that's a bad look. Did he cut his hair? Oh, wow. He got a fresh cut. I like that. Oh, 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 oh. Calm down. Calm down. Ay, ay, ay. You got to take that crown off, though, Damon. Add it to the chair. You wear a crown. Do you also call yourself king? Once we aye, smash aye, aye. the triarchy, they name me king of the narrow sea. King of the narrow sea. But I know that there is only one true king, your grace. Ooh, okay. Wow. I mean, that's what I'm saying, though. Damon loves his family. Hey, I like to see it, man. I like to see it. Some brotherly love right there, man. The realm owes you a great debt, brother. He's still, she's still wearing that necklace he gave her, too. Perhaps Prince Damon would care for a tour of the gallery. He hasn't yet seen the new tapestries gifted to you by Novus and Cahors. Would you like to see the tapestry? <laughs> 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 That's funny. He has no interest in such things. <laughs> I'd like to see them. Uh -huh. Oh, well, then you should not deprive yourself. Ooh, hoo -hoo, he is cold to her. I mean, I don't blame him. Like, he literally said, go marry who you want, and she still married no one. Those men and boys don't fawn over me. They only want my name in my Valyrian blood for their offspring. I think it's rather romantic. <laughs> How romantic it must be to get imprisoned in a castle and me to squeeze out to heirs. Ooh. 
hits a little close for home for Allison. I find I have a few friends, baby. Damn. I like to believe I'm still the Lady Allison, but all anyone sees when they look at me now is the Queen. Mmm, that's tough. I've missed you too. Hey! I like to see it. I like to see it. Good for them. Damn, he's looking majestic in the sunlight. Mature, perhaps. You've matured yourself these last four years, princess. So it's been four years since they've seen each You're other? Used to the attention. The attention I can endure, it's the rest I could do without. Abrasut vejutsus. <laughs> He's still on about his broads, bitch. <laughs> That's crazy. Has he even seen his wife since, like, they married? <laughs> oh my god, he's vicious towards her. Ooh, Damon, you're talking, you're dropping some knowledge? I like that. Led to her. Someone got into our room? Well, this is interesting. Hey, it's Damon! Of course he knew, because was that probably like his room when he was younger or something? What are they up to though? I don't like this. Where are we going? This is kind of cool to see like the King's Landing at nighttime though. Oh god. He called me boy. <laughs> Oh, is this why he brought her? To like see how the people actually feel about her? A babe is born. A son loved by all of her people. But would she make a powerful queen? Or would she be feeble? Oh yeah, people don't like her. But many of the small folk like to believe that as a male, Aegon should be the heir. Mm. Yeah, so this is why he brought her out here. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> They're of great consequence if you expect to rule them one day. Yeah, I was about to say, what are you talking about, Rhaenyra? For one night, I wish to be free of the burdens of my inheritance. The king has What's requested your presence. How come? The hour is quite late. Yes, Your Grace. Oh. He's trying to get it in. I see. That's not a very romantical way to do it. Oh my god, what's going on with him? Oh. That's miserable. All right, Damon, why did you bring her here? And why is she kind of into it? She just gave a cheeky smile. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are they actually... Yo, I did not realize Damon and Renera were... Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I did not see this coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And then to contrast it with the scene with Allison? Wait, are Renera and Damon gonna get married? But he already has a wife. Hey, that's that Targaryen shit right there. 
That's some Targaryen stuff right there, baby. Whoa. Whoa, he got her up against the wall? Damn, they're getting at it. Oh. What the hell is Damon doing? Oh no, who's this kid now? Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah, no, Damon left her wanting. She's gonna get it. Just not with him. <laughs> Wait, but isn't Sir Christian Cole forbidden from... Ooh wee. Yeah, I can't believe he's actually gonna do this. So much for your sacred vow, right? Woo wee! They said fuck the vow, we we do it the deed. Hey, I mean, you know, Viserys did say she could marry anyone. So <laughs> Hot Diggity Dog. They really doing this right now. This is a beautifully shot scene too. Like with the music, they're not even like talking to each other. Like they just know. Apologies for the late hour, my lord. What is it? A messenger brings word from the White Worm. Oh god, this guy saw Renera at the pleasure house. And it's auto spy. Ah. You never were one to stay idle. Hard Wait, what the what? That's the same boy who just reported to Otto. Brrr, what the hell is going on in King's Landing? I'm confused now. It is no easy thing to tell a father of his daughter's exploits. I had considered saying nothing, but what has she done? Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, this is something the you gotta word last carefully. Evening. Beyond the walls of the keep. In a pleasure house. What of it? Wee. She was carrying on with her uncle. What must I say it, your grace? You enter my bedchamber, accusing my daughter of something. Now speak it. Ooh. Plainly. Damon Otto, word this as bad as you possibly can. In the bowels of a pleasure den. The bowels, gross. Ooh, wee. He's a secret ambition that you could have my daughter stalked, Ooh. spied upon. Yes, for the series. your best chance to destroy her reputation. Yes. I have no such intent, your grace. You think yourself a cunning man? Your designs are obvious. Do you wish to have your blood on the Iron Throne so badly that you oh are willing my God, to destroy he's, he, mine own? He's airing it all out. I did not expect this in this episode. No, you take his take his pin. What happened last night? Oh, she is. She's going straight for it. What do you mean? My father has made some worrying allegations about you. <laughs> Were you with your uncle? Oh, I <laughs> I haven't seen him in years. He took me into the city for some fun. Tell me the whole of it, Rhaenyra. Oh boy, she's going to accuse me of something. Was I drank wine, left the castle after dark. Oh, not in it. Fucked David in a pleasure house. There we go. Are you gonna lie to Alice? Are you gonna lie to her? It's a vile accusation. Oh, <laughs> you can't lie. The Targaryens do have queer customs, and Very Damon true. certainly knows no limit. Alison, Damon knows no sister, limit. You must know I would. I would never. You cannot believe such gossip. My father is no oh gossip. Oh my God, she's suddenly he's she been is... misled. He could not have witnessed such a thing. Why not? Because it did she not happen. Lying he was told. Teeth. told. So you are accusing me of slanders. You overheard. I only want to help you, Rhaenyra. Yeah, Allison is the MVP. She's trying to help everyone, and everyone's just kind of like not helping her. I mean, given the allegation, you might Don't actually want to. Never touched me. 
You lie. I swear this to you upon the memory of my mother. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> Bradera, what are you doing? But you could even come into question. Yo, your mother is turning in the grave right now. My daughter. Oh. oh boy. He's going to admit it, isn't he? And Renera already denied it. On the memory of her mother. Won't you even oh. deny it? I need to understand the charge before I can attempt to discredit it. You defiled her. Oh, it's gonna get the shit out of him. We fucked our way through most of the brothels on the street of silk. We were young men. She is just a girl. Your niece. Here is a woman grown. Better first experience be with me than some whore. Oh, he admitted it. I should disinherit her. As I already did you. We done with it. Why do to me? Oh, this is what I just said. You said I could have anything. I want Rhaenyra. I take her as she is and wed her in the tradition of our house. You are already wed. That didn't stop Aegon the Conqueror from taking a second wife. You are no, he's conqueror. addicted to being like you Aegon the Conqueror, great. isn't he? That's. T I don't understand what Damon was trying to do. As like you wish, rather. Did he want people to think that he did so that they would get married? Or was it like he wanted to, but then like, he was like, yo, this is my niece, maybe I shouldn't. I don't understand what his game plan was, to be honest. Whatever transpired, Rhaenyra is not innocent. <laughs> That's Only true. Because Damon tried to corrupt her. Damon and Rhaenyra share the blood of the dragon. They are restless and chaotic. She swore to me that she remains a maiden. And I believe her. I feel so bad for Alicent, dude. She's just trying her best out here. People keep lying to her. Keep trying to like... She's so wise too. Like she's like, well, he if he's not telling the whole truth, it does demean you. Like it takes your reputation down even more because if your daughter did this with your uncle, how does that make you look? That dagger once belonged to Egon the Conqueror. It was Aenar's before that. And before that, it is difficult to know. From my blood come the prince that was promised. And his will mean? be the song of ice and fire. What does that mean? The responsibility I have handed to you, the burden of this knowledge. It is larger than the throne. The so basically just saying the line needs to continue. You and your desires. So you will strip me of my titles and name Egon in my stead. I would. Ooh. It is mine to hold the realm together, not sow it with further division. Okay, good call, good call, Viserys, good call. Your courtship is at an end. Ooh. You will wed Selena Valarian, and you will do so okay. without protest. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it's that. sea snake. Yeah, this is the so best I match. Remedy for your political headaches. You are my political headache. Very true. Viserys, tell her how it is. She's the one causing you all this issue. Otto Hightower has served two kings loyally. No, faithfully. stop it. Stop it. He wants Aegon to be named heir. And he will stop Thank at you. nothing to see it done. Including you, spying on me to bring about my ruin. You went from being another man in Jairus court to the second most powerful man in the realm. I wonder, how long did it take you to choose yourself over your king? Ooh, Viserys calling him out. You're crazy. Shut up, Otto. You know what you're doing. From Emma's death. Your judgment has been compromised. Oh, a yes, loyal get him out. And must tell his king a discomforting truth no, from time no, to time, no, your grace. No, 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 no. Shut up. He's failed as a servant. No, you failed as a servant in other ways. Take the pen. Take the pen. Yes, get him out of here, baby. If not brewed properly, it can either prove ineffective or else bear unpleasant. Brew properly. I'm sorry, what is that? A tea, princess. What does it do? 
What's the tea for? It will rid you of any unwanted consequences. Ooh. From the king. Wow. Oh, but if she drinks the tea, then it's obvious that she did. But if she doesn't, then it's still... Damn, that's a good ending. So if she drinks that tea, she's basically admitting, yeah, I did what I did. But if she doesn't drink it, she could end up with the consequences of what she did. Wow. I also like how, regardless of like what Viserys was saying when he was talking to her, the truth doesn't matter. Just the perception of what is being said because that's literally how it is like even in our world today like you see it all the time with social media and stuff like that like the truth really like doesn't matter most of the time because like some people have their whole lives ruined just off perception of what could have happened but maybe it actually didn't you know but i think she has to drink that tea right she has to because like she's not going to want the consequences of having a baby and it's not even going to be Damon's. It would be Sir Christian Cole boy. So <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that name, but wow. So Damon, what, what is his plan? He's a, he's an interesting one because he obviously came to King's landing. Like Renera said, like, what do you want here? What are you doing here? And literally like the first night he's back, he takes her into the city and tries to do the deed with her. But then stops. But like he didn't seem like that stop. Like him stopping didn't seem like it was planned. Because he seemed so frustrated with himself. I don't know man. I don't know what his plan was. Like I don't know if like he was just doing it. And he's like wait I shouldn't do this. This is wrong. Or if it was all calculated. Viserys stood on business today. I Viserys, I like that. This was a good Viserys episode. He was not taking crap. He was he was king and he was doing kingly things. He got rid of Otto. He's making Rhaenyra wed uh, Sir Lanor. Uh, he was talking to Allison about like he was talking to his queen about how to handle this stuff. Oh, it was so good. He defended his daughter from Otto. Good, good stuff. I can't believe they dedicated like 10 minutes though to Sir Christian and Renera getting it in. That was a crazy sequence. Beautiful scene though. I don't know. This was a great episode, dude. I said this last episode, but I love how str like just how narrow these episodes are compared to Game of Thrones. Like all of this took place in King's Landing. We didn't leave King's Landing once this episode. Like, I love that because it makes it feel like we're so much more, like, close with these characters. Um, but at the same time, I also feel like Game of Thrones has the advantage where, like, there's so many things going on at once that, like, if you don't like one part of what's going on, you'll have other parts of the show that you're enjoying. So, like, if someone doesn't like this aspect of, like, the show, like, someone doesn't care, then they're not going to like the show. But with Game of Thrones, like, I know a lot of people say they don't like Daenerys' part of the show, which is crazy to me. But they said they enjoy everything else. So, like, I get that part. But I just really like how narrow these episodes are with these characters. I don't know. I'm loving House of the Dragon, guys. This is such a good show. Uh, I'm honestly probably going to buy the book. I don't know if I want to watch. I'm probably just going to watch the show first and, like, then get the book. Because, obviously, if I'm doing reactions, I don't want to know what's going to happen. Um, but... I would love to read this this like book because I know it's based off a book. Um, and I've already started reading the first book of Game of Thrones. Um, haven't gotten too far in because I don't want to like get too far ahead and like accidentally spoil some things or something like that. But I have started reading that. So anyway, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, make sure to leave a like, comment down below. Peace out.